Well, good morning. I am in the uh, coast of Brittany and uh, we're going to be doing a hike in the, what we call the Coast Sauvage. So basically it's all the side of the coast. We are in uh, Brittany, like I just said, at uh, saint gilles de -Rue. Uh This in front of us is the uh, Atlantic Ocean. And uh, uh, this uh, hike is uh, it's one of my favorite in this area because uh, uh, it's between beaches, so you have a, quite of a large beach where people go uh, swim uh, later in the day. Today is uh, only 9, uh, I think it's 9 a.m. So um, it's pretty early, I like to do that in early in the morning. But you can see uh, it's a quite a large beach and here we're on the rocks and a lot of people are running and uh, hiking and stuff. So. I hope you're going to be enjoying it. Again, this is Miguel Jiguer from MJ's Adventure. And uh, this is a uh, hike in uh, the coastal area of uh, Brittany, France. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but uh, private beach uh, in low tide because a uh, high tide will be up to the rocks, so you would have to plan it right. But that's one of the good things about it is uh, you have a lot of little areas where you could be by yourself for a few hours before the tide comes in. You just have to learn uh, how to get in and get out without uh, falling. It's not very uh, fun then. Uh, I've done it many times when I was a kid. I uh, get myself in a situation, it's easier to get down than get back up. But, uh, you know, the other way is to get wet and <laughs> go around the rocks and get yourself in. So you can see a little bit in the back here, you have a couple of beaches here you can uh, use. Oh, I have a dog following me. Hello. I'm sure the owner is uh, not too far, probably behind me.
run it. Bad point. There's another beach. This one is pretty easy to get in and out, so there are a lot more people on that one. Uh, probably a dozen people at one time in the in the afternoon. Also, depending on the tide, because the tide goes pretty high, so and pretty low here. Uh, we're in a northern uh, area of well, northwestern area of France, and um, the tides are pretty. Pretty good size. Uh, uh, the closer you get to the equator, the less of the of the tide is. So when you're in Florida or or New Orleans and all this, the tides are not that dramatic compared to here. This can be pretty good. This is a uh, halfway, I think, into the tide, and um, um, looks like it's going up. Why is it going down? That's another question here. Let me look a little bit here. Is the sand looks wet? Yeah, so it's going down. So, so sometime around lunchtime, it's probably going to be close to be down and uh, coming back up. So around four o'clock, it will be at the highest point. When I was a kid, I used to live here. I left France when I was 17, but before that, <laughs> I used to, to run this, this trail. I'm a middle-aged American now, and uh, my health is not uh, what it used to be. I'm a, what we consider a, healthy here meaning uh i'm a uh, overweight for the french standard for my age and my height so so i have to l lose a few pounds quite a bit actually close to 15 pounds to be at the level of the french uh, uh body weight so i guess work to do probably one of the reasons why uh, our, the life expectancy here in France is much higher. They eat quite healthy and uh, maintain their uh, their body weight quite, quite, quite a lot. So it's uh, something is important to them. Most of my family is is in my aunt and uncles are in the mid uh, 70s and uh, some of them are as healthy as me <laughs> so and i'm just reaching 50. so some work to do well let's, let's go back to the view now we climbed a little bit higher into the into the rocks
Bonjour. Bonjour. So we're going to get in the trail to get to somebody's house right here and uh, we're going to reach back on the on the main trail but um, I did this trail yesterday um, I took a bunch of pictures and uh, I wanted to kind of remember a little bit and, uh, before I do this video uh, this morning and uh, I will post uh, well I'm going to take a break when I get to the Homo and uh, I will post some of the pictures from this section of the trail in that center section when I take a break and uh, I'll finish the rest afterward and put the pictures for the rest uh, at the end but here we are arriving at uh, uh, an helicopter uh, landing section uh, in case they have a rescue uh, Sometimes somebody falling down the rocks or uh, a boat, uh, anything that uh, needs uh, needs to be rescued in here. So we are getting into the area of the helicopter pad that is just in front of us. This road lead to uh, the town here, the, of Saint Gilda de Ruy. And then we're reaching back to the trail.
so we have done uh, one mile of this section and we are at uh, the point of reference where so I was going to take a break have some water and uh, I will put the pictures from yesterday's area so uh, I'll join you in a few seconds Well, I'm uh, still here and uh, I wanted to uh, give you a heads up here and uh, show you a little bit what the area before I put my backpack in and, and going. So, just so you can see right here, uh, the coast that's looking west right now. And uh, where the sun is reaching, the color is changed to a beautiful green. And, uh, to walk a little bit now the Sun is going to be in the way so now we're looking east but here you have beautiful beach that you can reach and uh, not many people are going to use that beach because of the high tide so all right so I will uh, put my backpack on and uh, I will continue we have a good uh, mile mile and a half to do maybe i'm not sure and uh hopefully you enjoyed this uh this hiking this little hiking uh trick okay all right let's go back Bonjour. Bonjour. Excusez-moi. Oh. I don't know if you can see, but you have two people uh, bathing right now. And that beach that was just right there.
Bonjour.
don't know if you noticed, but uh, the area where the water receives sometimes creates a little bit of pool. And uh, sometimes some, uh, something gets stuck in there. It's rare, but it happens. It's kind of nice to be able to walk in there and look around, poke at something, see something move. Uh, you know, they're not going to die because they're in this pool. That pool is going to stay there until the water gets back up. But uh, sometimes you can find some interesting things. So, if you have a chance, I would uh, recommend walking in the rocks and uh, check the pools out. So, in front of us right there is the port of... Uh, uh, port of uh, Omoan. Uh, this is the main port uh, for the boats to uh, to park, and that's where I'm going to stop this uh, this hike uh, for today. So, I will have a little bit of a small uh, conversation at the end of this video. Um, if you uh, want to skip to it, go for it. Uh, talking about my French trip here, so you no, know, it's a little different uh, than what I normally post, but. I kind of wanted to show a little bit my uh, my trips outside uh, Colorado, so but we'll talk about that later.
I believe the name of this uh, beach was um, the Beach of Morn and uh, right above this uh, small little uh, hill here that's the Port of Morn The trail does continue, but um, I'm actually uh, almost three miles from uh, where we're staying at the cottage, so I'm gonna try to cross in town to cut it, but I'm uh, gonna see if uh, we can uh, see a little bit. The sun is right in front of us, but. Uh, So this uh, is the port and um, this is where the uh, um, they put the boats in when storms comes in to protect them and, uh, and there it is this is the end of my uh, trip it took me 42 minutes uh, to do a uh, 2.1 mile what is uh, quite slow for me but it's not a flat trail so I'm gonna end the video here I'm gonna find a spot where it's less windy and I'm uh, gonna talk to you about my French trip Well, um, I found a spot. I don't know if it's less windy, but I'm right by the Atlantic Ocean. I'm on the rocks right now. And um, I wanted to guys to talk to you about uh, uh, my French trip. Um, I know most of my videos on my uh, channels are about uh, our trips with my Jeep uh, in Colorado. Um, I live in Michigan. Sometimes I post a few things here and there from Michigan, but um, I very rarely did anything from uh, for the French trip because um, uh, I do go once every five years. Uh, I did a couple videos in the past and really didn't pan out. Uh, nothing was uh, really looked at. What I understand, it's not what the channel is all about. So it's been uh, 12 days we've been in France and uh, this is the first video I've done um, yesterday as I was doing the walk uh, for myself. I realized that maybe it's something I should just post. Um, I'm not, not get the views that I normally get, but some people may be interested. And um, I understand if you skip it, it's not a, it's not a big, big deal to me. But um, uh, it's not something I, 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 I'm debating about putting a posting. 
but I'm running out of uh, footage from uh, all our trips that we did out west and um, we're not going to go back out west every year so we're going to be doing some things differently so I may start posting less and less on the video on the channel uh, but I'm going to post a few things here from our trip uh, we're here for a total of six weeks um, visiting family uh, so it's not something that is you know fun to watch and and for you guys but sometime when I'll do a little trip a little hike here and there go see something famous maybe I'll do small little videos but I'm not gonna post a ton of it so I uh, just want to give you a heads up that uh, you know the channel is gonna slow down a little bit and some um, uh, uh, I, I don't really have a lot of footage what you guys are used to watch so uh, if you do enjoy this type of videos and you want to see more about France um, you know just uh, put that out there put the comments and uh, I will try to put most uh, more videos in there uh, so I'm gonna try to post this video uh, from France uh, I'm gonna do it pretty quick it won't have the fancy uh, uh, things I normally do because all my equipment is in uh, New York State so this will be a pretty raw footage so well, I hope you enjoy it. And this is again, this is Mikael Joubert. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video. And um, if you have any, uh, uh, if you like the video, please like the video. If you uh, have any com comments or questions, please put them below. I will answer every one of them. And uh, once again, uh, I hope you enjoyed this movie. Thank you, bye.